Okay. So I think we're both on. Okay. So you'll need a chair for some balance work that we're going to do in the beginning. And then you'll need a light to medium weight uh, for some uh, strength exercises. And then you're going to need um, just some space. We have a few like side steps to do. So just making sure your space is clear. And then you have maybe a space clear for some push-ups in a little bit. Okay? So let's get started. So first we're just going to warm up the body from the bottom up to the top. Okay? So we're going to start with some ankle rolls. So I'm going to grab onto the chair and just lift up the knee because I want to get the knee activated as well. So we'll lift up the knee nice and high, as high as you can. So I'm going to hold on and I'm going to do five ankle rolls one direction and five the other direction. Okay? So if you need to hold on, do so. Good. And then when you've gotten your five, you're just going to pump up and down. Trying to keep the knee elevated as much as you can. Good. And then lower that down. Okay. Other side, you're going to lift up as high as you can. And then leading with the toe as big a circles as you can. About five one direction and five the other direction. Good. And then up and down. Trying to really activate this thigh and down. Good. Legs a little bit wider. You're going to rise up onto the toes. Hold for about three seconds. Slowly lower down. And then right straight back up. And down. So about five of these. So holding at the top, trying to get as tall as you can. There's four. Make sure you're taking nice deep breaths and down. And you want to hold on, you're going to lift the toes up, back onto your heels, slowly back down. So I push my butt back just a little bit and down. So lift them up, hold the toes up and down. Good. And when you're all set with those, you're going to start to do, combine them. So you're going to come up onto the heels, up onto the toes. Just rocking back side to side or forward and back. Trying to lift up nice and tall. Belly button stays in. Nice good posture. And breathe. And exhale. Great. Okay. And down. Then we're going to open up the hip. So I'm just going to open up wide and the other side wide. So I'm going backwards. And just kind of take your time, loosen things up. Doesn't have to be fast. Feel where maybe you're tighter. And just take a second to stretch those areas out if you need. Good. Belly button stays in nice and tight even when you're foot is going back. Good. All right. And then you're just going to do a few butt kicks when you're ready. You can stay at the hip rolls if you want to. That's fine. Trying to keep your, your uh, knee pointed down to the ground. I'm just rocking kind of side to side, pulling my heel up to my butt. Just activating the hamstrings. Good. All right. And then I'm going to go wide with the legs. The hands come onto the thighs. And I'm going to slide down one just past the knee and come straight up. So slide as far as you can, getting a nice stretch in the side and straight back up. Make sure you deep breathe nice and deep. So each one should be an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. So you're just matching the movements with your breath, which just causes some relaxation. 
and allows your body to stretch a little bit more. You're gonna to start to come on the inside of the legs and just bend a little bit more forward. Still nice and controlled. So my arm is coming down right to the inside of my knee. Nice flat back. So you're getting a slight twist, but not a lot yet. Good. And now the opposite arm is gonna to go to the opposite inside of the knee. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of a twist. So the opposite hand goes to the opposite knee. And maybe the other hand starts to lift up. Inhale and exhale. Good. So just slowly kind of waking up the body. Good. All right. And a few more on your own. And we'll meet back to standing. Great. We're just going to do a few torso twists. Trying to stay nice and tight in the abdominal area. Good. All right, hands come on the shoulder. We're just going to roll the shoulders. Nice big circles with the elbows. Remember your breath. This should feel good. Great. Other direction. All right. Good. You can relax those down. Shake them out. Shake out the wrists. We're going to do a little wrist stretch. I'm going to hold my arm straight out and pull back on the top of the arm. So you're getting a stretch in the, in the wrist here. Ooh, very tight in the wrist, I am right now. And then go ahead and point the fingers down. Good. Other side. Arm comes straight out. Pull the fingers back. Just so slightly. It doesn't have to be hard. Good. And then fingers point down. Good. And this is helping with your push-ups when you're like this, if you have really tight wrists, and you shake those out. Then just a few head turns left and right on your own. Any pace that you'd like, just side to side. And you bring the ear to the shoulder. Good. You can start to roll back and forth if that feels good. All right, anything else anybody wants to stretch out? Feeling all right? Okay, so let's go into our balance. We're gonna do eyes open first for 30 seconds. So something that's challenging but doable. You can have your chair nearby. Here we go. Deep breaths. Whatever position is best for you, it could be heel toe, could be side by side, single leg. Good. Go ahead and lower that one down. Other leg comes up or the other foot goes in front. And try something new, it's practice. So see if maybe you can advance a little bit. Try something different, you can always look around. Maybe try to lower yourself a little bit if that could help balance you a little more. Almost there. And lower that one down. Eyes are gonna close, so back over to the other leg. And then when you're ready, float the eyes closed. Front or raises up and go 
go ahead and close the eyes when you're ready. Good, and open up. Nice job. Good. So you're going to have your chair in front of you or an object in front of you. And we're just going to do some hinges, okay? So you want to step back nice and far. And you're just going to practice hinging. So your feet can be together. Your feet can be heel toe. Or you can practice single leg, okay? So we're going to hinge and touch the chair and come back forward. And it's up to you. If you want to go side to side, you're reaching across the body, you could just go forward wherever you are in your practice, okay? But I want you to learn to hinge and squeeze your glutes as you come up, okay? So a nice big reach forward. I want you to really have to reach and come back forward nice and controlled. Right. I'm reaching, touching the chair, and slowly coming back. You can always change your feet, uh, your footing if you need to. And you're just touching different parts of the chair, okay? Good. If you're single leg or heel toe, go ahead and switch sides. So you're practicing the other side. Good. Even if you're here, even if your feet are together, you're just practicing going side to side, maybe higher or lower on the chair. Good. Nice. Few more. No rush here. Nice and controlled. Just practicing. Sometimes slower is harder to practice your balance. Good. And go ahead and finish that one up. Nice job. Okay. How'd we do? Great. Was anybody able to progress at all? Or are you still kind of at the same footing? Or did anybody try something different? About, about the same? One leg? Awesome. Nice. Okay. We're going to move to our push-ups. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 regular push-ups, okay? So on a two count. So you go down for two, up for two. And we're going to do 10 of those, okay? So count to yourself. I'll also count. It just depends how far away you are. And then we're going to do 10 bird dogs. So we have five on one side and we have five on the other side, okay? And then we're going to combine those. So I'll explain again, but... We've got 10 push-ups, so starting positions all the way up, here we go, down for two, one, two, up for two, nice and slow, down for two, up for two, so it's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, this is number five, number six, one, two, one, two, seven. Great. This is number eight. Down for two, up for two. And this is last one. Up for two. Good. Now you're going to stay all the way in the upper position of your push up. Your right hand and left leg goes out for two seconds. One, two, in for two. Here we go. So you rise one, two, lower for two. Up for two, lower for two. Good, nice and tight, nice long lines. Reaching out with your hand, reaching out with your foot. Trying to keep your hips level. Good, that was halfway. We're gonna switch sides. So now your other arm, other leg. One, two, down for two. Nice long, long lines. Reaching out. Good. Squeezing the glutes, keeping the belly button tucked in. Three more. One, two. One, two. Good. Last one. In for two. Good. 
When you're coming up, try to get that bicep as close to your ear as you can, okay? So now we're gonna combine them. You're gonna go down for two. You're gonna start on the right side with your right arm. So you're gonna go down, down, up, up. And then down for two again. So five on the right, five on the left. Here we go, it's a combination. So down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two. So I'm extending the right arm and the left leg as I come up at the top of that push-up. Good, nice and strong. And then we switch sides. Here we go, so left arm, right leg, down, up, and lift, down, up, good, we have two more, hopefully you're feeling it in the arms, in the stomach, and the chest, nice job. Awesome, finish those up. If you have a few more, go ahead. Nice job, okay. So then we're gonna get my chair back. Come back to your center. And I'm gonna have my chair for sit to stands, or you're gonna do your squats, right? If you don't wanna go all the way down, okay? So we have 10 sit to stands, okay? So we go down for two, up for two, okay? And if you don't want to touch all the way down, you don't have to. Just try to get as far down as you can. Here we go. One, two, up for two. Down for two, up for two. Good. So your chin should be tucked, but you should be looking forward, okay? Nice and controlled. I want you to feel the muscles that you're using. Legs stay out nice and wide. Good, pushing the hips back. Four more. Pushing through the heels nice and strong. Like you're pushing the ground away from you. Good, two more. Last one, stay standing. Great. Now we have our calf raises. So we come up for two, down for two. And you can hold weights if you'd like to, either here or here. Up for two, down for two. Up for two. Good. So they're just nice and controlled, really squeezing the muscles. Squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. Good, that's halfway, belly button's in. Shoulders are back. This is number seven. Eight. One, two, one, two. Last one, up for two, down for two. Now we're gonna combine them, okay? So you're gonna go down for two, up for two, raise for two, lower for two. Here we go, sit to stand, one, two, three, four, calf raise, five, six, seven, eight, back down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice job, down for two, up for two, rise up, and down, good, good, try to stay at the same tempo, so you can really squeeze those muscles. This is number four. Two, down for two. Down for two, up for two, rise up and down. Good, one, two, up, two. I just like the song, up, down for two. Good, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. Pushing through the heels. Squeeze their butt. We have three more. Two after this one. Two more. Down, 
down, up, up, rise, rise, lower, last one, down, down, up, up, rise, rise, and stop, nice job, okay, your weights can go down if you have them, you're going to have an abduction, and then we have hamstring curls, and then we combine them, okay, so I'm going to start on my left, so out for two and in for two, toe stays forward, okay, hips are nice and high, shoulders are high, here we go, one, two, in for two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, this one's number five, good, so one, two, in for two, good, number seven, number eight, nine, last one, ten, good, now bend that one up for two, down for two. Knee stays down to the ground, so don't bring it forward, keep it back. Good. Up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Good. This is halfway. A little challenge is if you don't put your leg down, keep it elevated. Good. Two more. One, two, down for two. Last one. Up, two, down for two. Good. Now we combine them. Out for two, in for two, in, up, down, down. Here we go. Left side. So this leg should be working pretty hard. Here we go. Out, out, in, in, curl, curl, down, down. Out, out, in, in, curl, curl, down, down. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe don't put the foot down. I'm feeling it quite a bit on this side. Woo. Good. Out. Out, in, in, up, up. Two more. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Good. Last one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. I'm going to roll that out. Woo. Anybody else feel it a lot on the right? Oh yeah, me too. All right, now we gotta do the right. Here we go, out for two, in for two. Here we go, out, out, in. You're already gonna feel it because you just worked this one on the other side. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, good. This is number five. Number six. Out, out, number seven. Out, out, eight, two, in for two. Nine, last one. Good, shake that out. Hamstring curls, here we go, on the right. One, two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Keep those knees together. You can even peek down and make sure that they are. Good. They sneak up, even if you don't think they do. They do. Good. Halfway. There's six. Seven. Two, curl for 
two, down for two. Out, out, in, in, curl, curl, down, down. Stay with it. I feel the burn already. In, in, down, down, out, out, in, in. That was number four. Good, this is halfway. Woo. When it gets tired, you're gonna wanna speed up, but try to stay with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, woo, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was that nine or ten? Be honest. I don't know. Okay, I think that was ten. It might have been nine, but I was burning anyway. <laughs> You might have missed it. Okay, so now we're going to move on. So we've got a little bit of cardio sequence, okay? So first we're going to do pivots, okay? So when you're pivoting, I want you to pretend like you have a heavy, heavy ball, okay? And you have to keep the ball nice and close to you. When you pivot, you're going to pivot onto the foot and really push that ball away, okay? And then you have to pull it back. And then you return, you pivot the other side. So squeeze this butt and push as hard as you can. You've got a heavy ball, right? It's not just a little tennis ball. You're really pushing away from you, okay? So we have 10 of them. I'm gonna start to go to the right first. So you have your ball. Here we go. So I kind of dip to get some power. One, and in. Two, good, and other side, three. So we're rotating, four, five. So I exhale as I push, push, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway, 10, one, two, three, nice and hard, four, push from the chest out, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good. So the next time we do this, it's really a push to, use your hips to push, come back. This stays right in your chest, you can push and pull in, okay. So now we have slams, so you have that same heavy ball, you're gonna raise up, you can come up on your toes if you want to, so I want you to really reach up high and almost behind you, so you can get a nice abdominal stretch, and then you're gonna bring your ribs to your pelvis nice and quick, okay? So you're gonna have slam. So you're gonna come up, rise up, good. So you have 10 slams. So I don't need to go all the way to the ground, but I wanna get your ribs crunching into your, into your hips and reaching nice and behind you. So you get nice big slam. I have one more. And that was my 10, okay? How did that go? Okay? So you have it, and even if you don't bend down a lot, you can really just crunch your abdominals down, okay? So you have the same ball. You're gonna raise it up, rotate, and then come back to center. 10 on each side. Here we go. One, up. Make sure you breathe. Exhale, inhale. This is number two. Nice and controlled. Three, four, rotate, five. That was six. Raise up nice and high. Have that ball. Good, two more. Last one. Good, and now we combine them all. Do we remember? So we've got 
a push. One, one on each side, okay? And then you have two, you have one slam, sorry, one slam, and then you have one twist on each side, okay? Here we go. So we have 10 again, but we combine them. So we push first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. That was three. So push, push, slam, and then rainbow to each side. Good. Keep that ball nice and tight. This is number five. Raise up nice and high. Nice job. Yes. Raise up. Nice job. And the rainbow. Good. Number six. Push. Push. Slam. Raise up. Side to side. Good. Number eight. Woo. Raise up. Side. Side. Nine. Up. Down. Last one. Up. Down. Nice job. Woo. Nice job. I'm going to grab some water. How do we do? Hi, Sam. 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 Nice job. Can he see us? <laughs> awesome. All right, so we've got our overhead press. He's so sweet. <laughs> okay, we've got 10. Here we go. Up for two, down for two. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Up, two, down for two. Good. One, two, that's number four. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. That's number six. Up, down, down. That's seven. Up, up, down. Number eight. Up, up, down. Down, that's nine, last one. Down, down, good. Give them a quick shake, and we're gonna come right back. So we have open and close, okay? So we're gonna open and close. Open and close, good. Elbows stay up, open, close, that's three. They're gonna start to burn pretty fast right here. This is four. Make sure you breathe. Five. Woo, six. Seven. Oh boy. Eight. We got two more, stay with it. Nine, I'm sweating here. One more. Woo, bring those down. Nice job. Woo, shake them out. We've got to combine those two, okay, for 10. Okay, here we go. So we go up, up, down, down, close, and open. Up, down, close, open, okay? Here we go, nice deep breaths. 
Let's go up, up, down, down, close, open, good, up, down, close, open, good, up, down, close, open, up, down, close, open, this is going to be halfway, good, that's number five, Woo. six, seven, feel those arms getting stronger, Woo. eight, oh my goodness, you should feel like you can't finish, but you're going to, last one, I'm going to come behind and open up the chest. Nice job. You can open up this way if this feels better, but I like to have my hands down <laughs> after that. Good. Roll those out. Nice job. So I felt that right in the shoulders, in the front of the shoulders here. A little bit in the back because I was squeezing as well, but that's a good burn, hopefully. Okay, next we have forward rises. So we have up and down, and then we're gonna combine that with a bicep curl, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna come up, straight up. Up, down, and down. I go right to the thighs. Up and down, right to the thigh. Up and down, up and down, nice job, stay with it, there's halfway, that's six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, good, rotate the palms open, and we have bicep curls. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. each other. We go up for two, up and down, rotate them open, bicep curl, and down, rotate them closed, up, down, curl, and down. Good. This is number three. Great job. This is four. Six. Nice strong core. Tighten your butt to help. Seven. Eight. Stay with it. Nine. Try not to swing the weights. Nice strong body. And ten. Let's put those down. Nice job. <laughs> this is my shake out. <laughs> All right. So, next, moving on. We're going to stay together and we're going to go out. So, you're going to reach out, touch down. So, when you touch down, your opposite hand is going to your inner thigh to your knee or down to your calf. So however far down you want to go. And then we push up to center and then we go the other direction. Okay? Here we go. So we have 10. So to whichever way you want to go first. <laughs> this is my right, but it might be your left. Here we go. So you step out, reach, push back up to center, 
Other side. Push up. Good. Down. Push up. Get your balance. Down. And up. Good. So just side to side. Nice flat back. So your chin should be tucked, but I'm looking straight ahead. Good. And maybe you step out a little bit farther as you're getting more comfortable. Step out nice and long. Try to get from one side of the room to the other. Good. We have two more on each side. Last one each side. Great job. And back to center when you're ready. Good. Then we're going to get down a little bit. So just nice slight knees. I'm going to reach back and pull forward. So we have 10 on each side. Here we go. So back, come back to center. Out, in, out, in. Reach nice and long, in. Good. This is number five. So I'm looking kind of straight ahead. That keeps my spine in line. This is number seven. Make sure you pelvic tilt so you're not going to hurt your lower back. This is eight. That's nine. And ten. Good. And then we have kicks forward, okay, with a slight rotation. So I'm going to kick forward with my left and go towards my left. Kick with my right and I rotate just slightly towards that pocket, okay? So when you kick, it's more of a lift, kick, come back in and then down rather than a quick there. So it's an up, kick, back and down. Okay, let's practice. Here we go. So up and down. Other side. Good. So a little bit more balance, a little bit more hamstrings. We're kicking, coming back in and then down. Good. So just keep practicing as your own pace. But try to bring that leg back. First, so toe points down to the ground. So I'm kind of kicking with the top of my foot. Okay, if somebody was out here, I'm kicking with the top of my foot so my toe stays down. Okay. Keep going. Okay. All right, now we're gonna combine them together, okay? Only on the right side. So only on the right. So I'm gonna go out to the right, in, reach back with the right, in, kick with the right, and back, okay? Here we go, five on the right, here we go. Out, in, step back, in, and kick and back. Good. Down. Up. Back. In. Kick. And down. Good. Down. In. Reach. Pull. Kick. And back down. Nice job. This is number four, I think. <laughs> Woo! And down. Number five. And down, good. Five on the other side. Here we go. Reach, push back up, back, here, kick, and down. Out, back, kick, and down. Number three, maybe you reach a little farther. And down, number four. Good, last one. Good, and kick. Well done. Nice.
Nice job. How are we doing? Okay? Okay. So we have one more to do. It's the best for last. So we have planks. Okay? So we have 30 second plank on our elbows. Uh, our hands. Then 30 seconds on our elbows. And then 30 seconds of going back and forth from our hands to our elbows, okay? So I'm gonna do it on the wall. You can also do it on a chair up against something, okay? So your plank, you're gonna start in a push-up position, pushing out nice and strong for 30 seconds. And then you go to your elbows. Are you ready? Here we go, on your hands. So you're pushing away nice and strong from the wall and you just are still, nice and still, okay? So you're just holding, pushing away, tightening your quads, tightening your glutes, holding right here, pushing out through your palms. Three, two, and one, down on your elbows. Okay, so I'm down on my elbows, pushing away from the wall with my elbows. So it's pushing my shoulders away. Nice, strong through the calves, the quads. Your butt is squeezed. You have 10 seconds. Try to hold as long as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna walk. You're gonna come back up to your hands. And then you're gonna go back down to your elbows. And you're just gonna keep alternating. Nice and controlled. Nice job, down to the elbows, up onto the hands. Down on the elbows, up on the hands. Try to stick with a rhythm. We have three, two, and one, stop. Nice job. How'd we do? Good. Okay. You have a little bit of a break and we have it one more time. Okay? So if your level was too easy, try to lower your level. If your level was too hard and you couldn't do it the whole time, maybe try to go up a little bit on the wall, a little bit higher. Okay. I'm going to try it on the chair. And we're gonna go again. Are you ready? So hands first and go. So I'm up on the hands, trying to get your hands and um, shoulders directly over each other. So my shoulders are right over my wrists if I'm down. If you're on the wall, don't listen to that. <laughs> it's a little different. All right, we've got Eight seconds here on the arm, so I'm pushing away from the chair, not letting myself sink down. And let's go down to our elbows. So elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. Your chin is tucked, but you're looking forward. Squeeze your glutes. Tighten your quads. Three, two, and one. Now we come back up to our hands and back down to the elbows. So you're going for a little walk. And down. Trying not to rotate your hips too much. Trying to keep your hips not rotating nice and straight and level. We've got 10 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Whew. Nice job. One of my favorites, it always is challenging towards that end. It always starts out like I got this, I can do this, and then it gets a little harder, and then right at the end it gets, it gets difficult. So hopefully you enjoyed that as well. So let's go ahead and get a nice stretch together. Ah, nice deep breath. So I'm gonna start from the top.
top. We're just going to do some head turns. Good. And ear to the shoulder. Try to deepen your breath. Slow them down. Good. Good. And then let's go to those shoulder rolls. So you don't have to put your hands on your, your shoulders if you don't want to. I think it just helps me remember the range of motion that we're trying to get nice and big circles, both directions, sitting up nice and tall. <sighs> nice. Let's go ahead and roll the wrists out, give them a few squeezes. Good. And whatever feels good, you can always stay in one position if you'd like to a little bit longer. And then I'm going to grab the back of my chair with my right hand and use my left to give me a little bit of leverage to twist. Nice and tall. Good. Other side. as much as you can. Every exhale, just trying to get a little deeper, sinking into the hips, into the lower back. You can maybe sway side to side if that helps you relax. You can drop the head if that feels good. Good. And look up straight ahead and slowly roll yourself back up. Hands on your knees, and we're just going to rotate in side to side with the shoulder. Great. One leg comes forward, you're going to get a hamstring stretch. <sighs> nice deep breath forward. points up towards the ceiling. Let's go ahead and switch. Up nice and tall first. Nice. these guys off. 